Hi everybody, it's Nicole from 20 Something Planner. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a true plan as I go style video for the week of January 27th. Um, I'm a little behind with my voiceovers. I have a few videos filmed. Uh, it's just I have not had the alone time that I need to do these voiceovers, but it's currently Saturday. Yeah, Saturday the 15th of February. So I'm just playing catch up here. I have the house to myself, which is like one of my favorite things ever. So I am just taking this time and finishing up some videos to get caught up. Okay, anyway, um, like I said before, I'm going to be doing a true plan as I go style spread today. I am just putting down my washi and date covers here um, in the beginning. I stole this trick from Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. She is a genius when it comes to figuring out how to lay down stickers in the newer um, formats, I guess. But she recently uploaded a few videos where she just whited out that little hexagon piece and kept the bottom line of the column, I guess, before that hexagon with the line started. I'm not making any sense probably, but she just whited out the hexagons instead of whiting out the entire line there. And it really pretty much mimics the previous Erin Condren format, which is awesome because I hate seeing a lot of white out there. And by whiting out that shape, you can still create a gap between the bottom of each column and your bottom washi, which is fantastic because I felt like I was losing out on being able to create space. Like if I wanted to put a full box at the bottom of the day, I wasn't really able to do that without butting up the full box right against the washi. Um, so Thank you, Lauren, for figuring out that little trick. Um, but now I'm just going in with some date covers. I've said this before, I actually don't mind the text of the dates that are printed at the top of the page, but I did want to utilize these. These are from Rose Color Days. They're her double text date covers, and I don't typically use a lot of kits with black in them, so I thought it was a good opportunity to get to use these. And the date dots that I'm using right now are also from Rose Colored Days. I kind of just put this part into full speed because you don't need to see me taking my time here. Um, I am now just putting down the quote box. Oh, I don't think I ever mentioned what kit I'm using. This is a Two Little Bees kit. And again, I think this is one from 2018. I have been hoarding this. I think it is so cute. Um, I love the buffalo plaid and the pink. I think it's just so pretty. But um, I just put the quote box down. I did white out that um, monthly hexagon image up top. And I just put a little bow from the deco sheet uh, on the corner of that box. I thought that turned out really cute because it kind of felt a little like bare by just putting a flag down. So I thought that was a nice alternative. Um, now I'm just building my sidebar. I usually do the same thing every week. I just do one or two habit trackers. I mark my work hours and then I'll keep some sort of running list on the side like um, a grocery list or happy mail or things that are coming up that I need to be mindful of. Um, but yeah, everything fit in the sidebar nicely. I just had to end up trimming the bottom part of my last checklist down there. I love that plaid pattern too. Okay, moving on into the day by day. I started off each day just with a today header and then I am pulling in this buffalo plaid flag to mark that my scheduler was out again this week on Monday. So usually when that happens, me and my coworker fill in for her. Um, and then I had a call on this day too. So I put a label down and I originally put a cell phone icon from Paper Blush Bar down, but I replaced that in a minute with some other stickers that I remember, remember that I had that I wanted to use. 
Now I am putting down a half box with a tickled pink planning laptop sticker. Um, we were very busy this day at work and again I just wanted to mark that I was registering patients. A majority of the day I work for a surgery center. Um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned that before but I work for a surgery center so again my schedule was out and I had to check the patients in all day um, which I actually really enjoy. <laughs> I usually don't get a lot of face-to-face -face with our patients. Um, but anyways, I put down a full box with the plaid header over top of it. I do that for every full box um, by each day. And then here I am just replacing that call that I had marked earlier. I had these arrow stickers from, oh gosh, where are these from? Sessa V that I wanted to use because again, they're black and I don't use a lot of black in my spreads. So I wanted to pull out some stickers that I don't really get the opportunity to use and use them this week. So I just took that call arrow and placed it over top of another label. At the bottom of the day, I needed to remind myself to give my dog his monthly heartworm medication. So I took a don't forget sticker from rose colored days and just layered that over top of a piece of washi from the kit. Um, and then on Tuesday, I started off by marking a coffee run to Dunkin Donuts. I've been getting really bad about not making coffee at home. I usually make coffee at home, but I make it on the stove top and just making it at six o'clock in the morning is not like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> so I've been getting really lazy and going through the Dunkin Donuts drive through. Um, I don't even really like Dunkin Donuts that much. It's just like right on my way to work. So I made a coffee run. <laughs> um, and to mark that I used a arrow sticker from a Sadie stickers, $2 Tuesday sheet. And the coffee cup sticker is from the kit. I just put down the half box. No, I put down a full box and then I pulled another piece of um, or icon I guess really from the kit um, I needed to run to the post office that day and mail some tax forms out so I just used the envelope sticker from the kit on this day I had a working lunch with my boss so to mark that I just put down a half box from the kit and the cutlery sticker is from crafts by Towie I use a ton of her icons all the time her two dollar Tuesdays are the best uh, on this day, I also had a consultant in the office, so I put down a quarter box from the kit and I layered another one of those arrows from Sessa V down. Um, this one just says appointment. And then I am pulling in a wine glass sticker from Planning World. My fiance and I just ended up going to happy hour that night. Sometimes we like to do that in the beginning of the week to give us something to look forward to. Um, and we go to this like sushi fusion place that's really good that's right near our house all the time um usually uh next i'm moving my way on to wednesday i just started at the bottom i put my full box down with the header and then um, i'm just marking that i had received an order that I placed online. I ordered three white dresses from ASOS for like bachelorette, rehearsal dinner, shower. I didn't know what I was going to wear to what, but I had three different options to try on from and they all ended up working out really well. I always have really good luck at ASOS. I have always bought like guest of wedding dresses from there and they always fit well the quality is always nice and the shipping is always pretty fast so if you're ever like stuck for a wedding or a special event and you don't know where to purchase a dress from or just like a nice outfit i highly recommend asos um but to mark my package i put down a quarter box from the kit and another one of those arrow stickers that just says mail on it um i had a and i totally flubbed this up i meant to write in um, something else for this bow and then the arrow sticker that I'm using with the time clock I used to mark my appointment but I wrote it down wrong um, but I had an appointment on this day that I needed to attend so I actually ended up writing that down next to the bow um, and then I actually <laughs> one of my staff members gave notice because he had moved um, quite a bit of ways away and the commute was just becoming too much for him so I ended up putting that down on the arrow with the clock from tickled pink planning on Wednesday, um, I also did like a 
walkthrough of our surgery center, we have such little room for stock. So me and my coworkers were kind of just going around the place, figuring out um, different ways we can store the supplies that we need. Um, so I put a half box down to mark that and a little package sticker from a Simply Watercolor Co. sampler sheet. Um, and then above that, I put down a space divider from Sadie Stickers. On to the second part of the week. I'm just getting all of my headers down and out of the way. And then on Thursday, it was my really good friend's birthday. Um, we actually have each other's half birthday. So I know that on her birthday, I'm halfway to mine, um, which becomes more depressing every year. But um, to mark her birthday, I put down a half box from the kit and a happy birthday sticker from the My Newest Addiction and Planner Sophisticate collab sheet. I absolutely love that sheet. I don't think my new addiction sells it anymore, but oh, those stickers are so cute. Um, I had a call with my boss on this day as well. So to mark that, I used a flag from the kit and the cell, cell phone icon that I pulled out before. Um, that is from Paper Blush Bar. And then I think I just swap out the plaid arrow because, or no, not arrow, flag because there's just two of the same pattern um, too close to one another for my liking. Um, I put that full box down, that sweater weather sticker is really cute. Um, and then mm -hmm. I put down an important script sticker from Rose Color Days and three little bullet dots to mark like pretty significant but just like quick to do tasks um, like confirmations and stuff like that. So I used those little circular stickers from the kit and then we ended up going out for birthday drinks um, just at like a local Chili's because we all had gotten out of work pretty late. Um, so I just pulled in another one of those cocktail stickers from the Planning World sheet. And then on Friday, I made another coffee run. So I pulled out just a coffee cup sticker from another Crafts by Towie $2 Tuesday sheet. Uh, I'm pulling down a full box right now. I end up swapping out a lot of icons for Friday because I was using pretty much strictly Crafts by Towie icons, which don't get me wrong, I love, but it's just, I like to switch it up um, throughout my spreads and use different icons from different shops. So I put a half box down with a Crafts by Towie printer to mark that. I just had to print a bunch of documents and get some things in order. Um, and then I just wanted to remind myself to wash my hair and blow dry it on this night because I had my wedding hair trial the next day and I had to have it with like one day washed hair. Um, so that blow dryer and comb sticker is from my newest addiction and I just layered over that over a quarter box from the kit and then I also ended up taking my future mother-in-law dress shopping for our wedding um she was having a hard time finding something too throughout the mall so I brought her to the store that my mom had found her dress at um, and to mark that I used a hanger sticker that again is another Crafts by Tally icon. She ended up getting a really nice dress from this store. So I'm really happy that my mom had discovered this like random dress shop near her house. Um, but after we went dress shopping, my mother-in-law and I met my fiance back at our house along with his brother. And we all ended up just grabbing dinner. Um, and to mark that, I used a plate and cutlery sticker from a GP sticker studio sheet. Um, and then I'm just replacing that blow dryer sticker with a Lush Shampoo container sticker. I can't remember the store that sells these. I don't even know if they're open anymore, but um, all of those icons were just a little bit too similar for my liking. So I just replaced that um, blow dryer and I use it again later on in a minute. Um, but moving on to Saturday, I ended up waking up and just doing some editing for a plan with me video. And then I had my hair trial on this day as well. So to mark that, I put down a half box and then the script hair trial, trial sticker from Letters to Apollo. And I just repurposed that blow dryer sticker um, with, on that half box. Next, I'm just putting down the full box and header. And then after my hair trial, I just stopped for 
a medicine ball from Starbucks. So I pulled in, I actually pulled out a coffee sticker sheet, but I ended up just getting a tea. That coffee sticker is from CD Stickers. At this point, I've had both my hair and makeup trial, and I'm so happy with the vendors that I've chosen. They're just a lot of fun, and I think my like getting ready moments will be a lot of fun on my wedding day, so I'm happy about that. Um, that night, we actually went bowling with a couple of friends, so I just took a quarter box from the kit and a scripted date night sticker from Rose Colored Days to mark that we went bowling. And then on Sunday, I got up and did a home workout, and to mark that, I used a quarter box from the kit, and that little dumbbell sticker is from Paper Blush Bar. I also uploaded a video on this day, so to mark that, I just used the laptop sticker from the kit, and I am putting down the final full box for the week. Um, this was also Super Bowl Sunday, um, and I had volunteered to bring a charcuterie board. So I feel like I've made charcuterie boards every weekend for the past like month. It's quite addicting. I just like invite people over. I'm like, I'm going to do a charcuterie board. Do you want to come over? <laughs> um, so I did end up bringing one to the Super Bowl party I went to. So to mark that I went shopping for the supplies, I just put down a label and a grocery shopping kit from Surprise Crest by Towie. Um, and then to mark the Super Bowl party I was at, I took one of those clipboard stickers from the kit and chopped it down to like a third um, or two thirds and just squared it off with a label that I had trimmed down um, from the kit. So I marked Super Bowl with that clipboard and I just put down a sneaker sticker from a My Newest Addiction workout sheet. Okay, so here is the spread all filled out and completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will chat with you all in my next one. Bye!